This is Blend Club for January 2018. The tobacco that we're going to be reviewing today is Cornell and Deal's Nutty Irishman. So, uh, this is the first blend of 2018. Um, basically how we do this is we kind of go together and we review the tobacco. Hopefully you have it there in front of you. If you don't, uh, why don't you pause the video and go and get it and we'll go through this together. I'll give you a couple of seconds. All right. Cornell, Cornell and Deal Nutty Irishman. The first thing I like to do is I like to give you a little bit of background on the blend <coughs> that's provided by TobaccoReviews.com. So here we go. Cornell and Deal Nutty Irishman. Imagine a bottle of Frangelico and a bottle of Irish Mist having a head-on collision and you'll have an idea of the flavor and aroma of Nutty Irishman. Through the end product, though the end product has a uniqueness that goes beyond the characterization. The brand is Cornell and Deal. It's manufactured by Cornell and Deal. The blend type is aromatic. The contents are black Cavendish and burley. Flavoring, alcohol, liquor, Irish mist. The cut is ribbon. The strength is mild. The flavoring is medium. The taste is mild to medium. And the room note is very pleasant. All right, well, let's take a look at uh, what we got here. Uh, let's take a, oh, let's open it up and let's kind of, uh, one of the things I like to do, the first thing I like to do is I kind of like to get my nose down into the blend and kind of breathe in the scent and kind of see if I can figure out what I'm smelling. So let's do that first. Well, maybe it's just subliminal, but I, I do smell a nuttiness, a little bit of nut nuts in here. A nuttiness to it. I can kind of, I can kind of uh, smell the Irish cream. A little bit of raisin. And maybe some caramel, a little bit. But it is your quintessential uh, aromatic blend. Now the one thing that I want to kind of point out to you is, although it says it's ribbon, uh, take a feel of the tobacco, and you might have noticed this compared to other tobaccos that we reviewed. It's very, very light. Um, the uh, ribbon is cut very fine. Uh, we call that a shag cut. And a shag cut is probably the easiest cut to keep lit because it's so fine and it's so uh, so very uh, very thin pieces. It's very easy to keep lit, at least it is for me. Um, mine, when I got it, um, I it's moist. Um, it's, it's moist, but it's not overly moist, uh, but it's right on that border of being between just right and a little bit too much. Um, but yeah, it's uh, got that very nice mahogany look to it. Um, it's got that nuttiness and that cream, Irish cream mist that I can smell to it. Uh, very pleasant in the bag. Very, very pleasant to smell. You could almost put this out and make potpourri out of it if you wanted to. Okay. Well, let's, let's take a smoke and see what we get.
the, the nuttiness of the burley really comes through here. I can, I can taste that right away. It's very sweet. And I just get a hint of that ice cream. Another Irish mist. Yeah, with that, um, Burley comes through pretty heavy handed for me at least. That, and that kind of takes over the blend and uh, I don't know it just uh, the sweetness seems to go away after a while and all I really taste is the burley and I'm not really all that much of a burly man and the Irish mist is it's it's way back in the background Yeah, I've been smoking this for a few bowls and, you know, I end up, that mist, that Irish mist goes away and that barley just takes over for me. It just, it just does not, it does not kind of keep, keep up with the barley. It burns away too quick. So if you like Burleys and you like aromatic, this is probably the blend for you. Yeah, it's not. I'm getting mostly Burley, so there you go. Well, um, yeah, I don't think I would get this again. It's it's too much burly for me. Um, I mean, I like the shag cut and I like the the aroma of the tobacco, but uh, with a lot like like with a lot of tobaccos, it doesn't. The smell does not equal the smoke. Uh, the smoke um, it kind of. The Irish cream or the Irish mist kind of fades away and it just leaves you with the burly. So, so uh, I give a rating system uh, in emojis and my rating for this, this one is going to be two smiley face emojis. Two smiley face emojis. All right. So the tobacco that we're going to be reviewing for next, or this month, which is uh, February, February's blend is Dunhill's My Mixture 965. All right. Now, as usual, I want to give you a little bit of information about how I want you to do your, uh, your review. I want you to first give me your rating in emojis. It can be smiley face, hearts, skulls. Uh, if you don't have the opportunity or you can't make emojis, then you can put a colon and a, a parenthesis, however many you want. Uh, one to five. Uh, one to five. One being the worst, five being the best. And then give me a short synopsis of what you think of the blend. If you liked it, if you Thought it was okay. Uh, it was it too wet for you? Uh, how was the nic nicotine hit for you? Um, just give me a short synopsis of what you thought of the blend. Now, again, I want to remind you that I would prefer or I want to make sure that the only thing, only comments in these Blend Club videos are reviews. So if you 
put in a comment after watching this video saying, "Hey, mutton chop, what's the first, what's the best type of tobacco to start um, pipe smoking with?" I'll read it, but I'm going to delete those um, because these again these videos these reviews blend club is basically for someone just getting ready to start smoking a pipe and they want to know okay what are some tobaccos that 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 people seem to like uh, and then they can come and read the reviews watch my review and then choose from that um, if i have a bunch of other types of questions in there it just kind of jumbles everything up so so remember just blend club reviews on blend club videos all right well that's it for blend club for january um until we meet again for february's blend keep smoking